the Scarlet Letter opens with the Custom House. Written in first person, author Nathaniel Hawthorne talks about how he lost his job at a Salem Custom House, processing taxes, imports, and exports when a new political party took office. He describes how his hard-headed Puritan ancestors would have said that his work as a writer was unsuitable. The tone here is ironic, self-deprecating, and seductive, trying to woo a reader, an elitist category who might empathize with him. Hawthorne criticizes former co-workers as lazy, old, and foolish. He describes the head inspector at the Custom House as little more than an animal with no power of thought, and says his animal nature, moderate intellect, and trifling mix of morality and spirituality are barely enough measure to keep the old gentleman from walking on all fours. It's a spirited comic energy here, clearly self-serving and alienating to his audience, especially those who find themselves depicted. Before his forced departure, he found a dusty fabric embroidered A and pages of a manuscript. The writing infers that the three inch long A had been intended to be worn on a dress, but Hawthorne isn't sure why. He places it on his chest and it almost feels hot, as if it's made of red hot iron. He lets it fall to the floor then examines the manuscript and explains its purpose. That manuscript is the story of the Scarlet Letter. Hawthorne concludes the essay with rationalizations for losing his job, claiming he needed time off and it was heroic to be fired. The Scarlet Letter is fiction. Hawthorne invented the letter A, the manuscript, and the characters. Hawthorne introduces the main symbol and it creates suspense and hints at themes of sin and guilt, suggesting that this is a romance rather than a novel because of these supernatural qualities. In 1846, Hawthorne was surveyor for the District of Salem and revenue inspector for the Port of Salem. He worked at a custom house where government officials fill out forms for importing and exporting. He actually did collect taxes, which were then called duties. It was an easy job that allowed Hawthorne to think about his writing. Now, jobs at custom houses were government positions appointed by different political parties. Hawthorne, a Democrat, lost his job in 1849 when Zachary Taylor of the Whig Party was elected president. He was not happy about his lost job since he supported his family with the $1,200 a year. Big money. He decided to write an essay attacking his former co-workers and people who fired him, although he wasn't happy there anyway because it took time away from his writing. Isolation is an important theme here. Hawthorne's isolation from his co-workers, the artist who is distinct from the lazy people around him, and the protagonist we're about to meet from the other Puritans with her artistic, passionate soul and their judgment. 